This disc is ideal for somebody with a strong arm speed. Somebody who can throw between 350 to 550 is gonna get the maximum distance out of this disc. It is stable. It wants to come left right out of your hand. When we put it on a slight Anheuser, we were getting some beautiful S turns with it and finding out that we can get the maximum distance by doing so. These are the discs that MVP have been waiting for. I know a lot of the pros that shoot for MVP have been waiting for these big arm discs and here they are. I'm telling you, I'm impressed with this. Uh, I never throw four hands like once in the blue moon and even then it's like I don't because I just don't trust discs because I played baseball for so long I have a tendency to turn my wrist over you'll see that video we took one of me throwing it in a forehand and it went farther in my backhand what's up with that I threw this thing like over 350 feet I'm like damn 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 what's up with that what's up with that what's up with that what's up with that Now I'm going to have to, after we're done videoing today, is go out and throw this bad boy bunch forehand and get some confidence in my forehand. I might have to put that into my game. Damn! And this is going to follow me home today. There's no doubt, if you throw the disc far, you're going to bomb with this disc. Damn! Dad and I consistently throw about 300 to 350, and we were right on the 350, if not further. In fact, there was several times that Dad and I threw beyond that 350 mark. Um, and the great thing about it is, we learned to aim correctly. Once we figured out what the fade was like on this disc, all right, about three or four or five throws into it, you start to really pick up on the characteristics of these discs and where you need to throw them at. And man, we started hitting those lines to compensate for that fade, and it was fading right into target exactly what we were looking for. And we did start to get a little bit of a, uh, of a headwind into it as well. Damn! And because of the headwind, you're used to a disc turning over a little bit more and not these these babies just went straight they took that wind and said we're gonna ride this baby and it did it went straight far and then faded left hard what's up with that um i said a hard fade for me because it was between 15 to 20 feet of a fade and that was when i was throwing it flat and straight so if you have it on a hyzer you know it's going to keep that hyzer it throw it on an anheuser and you know what it's going to do is fight back it's not going to keep that anheuser line um, somebody with a, a bigger arm speed than us may be able to keep that line but if you throw between 200 and 350 you're going to experience what, what we did and again it might even crash even harder to the left depending on how slow your arm speed may be damn as always i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this channel infinite disc your disc golf superstore go in there put in our discount code to get five percent off your purchase of all your disc golf needs go to blenders eyewear.com these glasses are rad and you can use the tuck force one discount code to receive 20% off your purchase we've got new videos out every week have an amazing day